When you're identifying trees, you normally look at the shape of the leaf or the shape of the tree as a whole. However, in winter, most trees drop their leaves. Therefore, to identify trees, we use the twigs. And we look at things like the bud, the shape of the twig, and where the buds are on the twig to help us identify them. So I'm going to show you some of the features you would look at on a winter twig to help identify it. The first thing is the colour, so this one's nice and bright green. The shape of the bud, so here we've got a kind of egg shape with a point. Then we look at things like the arrangement of the buds on the twig. So here they're opposite each other, but you also get them so they're alternate, which means there'll be one here and potentially one here spread out on the twig. We also look at things on the bud, so on this one it has scales, some buds are completely smooth and sometimes they're fluffy, and we also look at the bud on the end, so we call this one the terminal bud because there's a single large bud on the end, but on some twigs you get lots of buds, which is a cluster of buds. We also look at the shape of the twig, and this one is nice and straight, you do get quite zigzaggy twigs and rough ones, whereas again, this one's nice and smooth. Here we have ash and sycamore. They both have very long straight stems. They both have a large terminal bud on the end and they both have opposite buds on the stem. The differences are that sycamore is bright green, whereas ash is black and the sycamore has scales on the bud. This is easiest to see on the terminal bud because it's large and you can see all the scales, but it also has them on the buds on the branch. Here is a close up of the sycamore terminal bud and you can really clearly see the scales here on the bud. This is beech. It has long, thin, single buds that are brown and have scales on them. They aren't opposite each other on the twig, but alternate. The twig is also a zigzag shape, and it generally has one single terminal bud on the end. This is silver birch. You can identify it by looking at the trunk, which is a silver colour. On the twig, it has small green-brown buds that have scales. They are very fine. They alternate as you go down the twig. If they were opposite, you would have one either side here, but as you can see, they alternate. They also have catkins, and the twig is very fine and in a zigzag shape. This is oak. One of the main features are the cluster of buds on the tip. On this one, you can see three buds, but you can get up to five or six buds on the tip. The buds are short, fat and brown and they have scales on them. They're arranged all around the twig in a spiral direction. This is hazel. It has a very zigzag shaped twig. They have short, blunt buds that have scales on them and it has very long yellow catkins in the spring. This is holly. The other trees we're looking at are deciduous and lose their leaves in the winter. Holly is evergreen and has dark green glossy leaves all year round. It has male plants and female plants. They both have flowers, but when the female flowers are pollinated, these flowers will turn into the berries that you see in winter. This is hawthorn. It has a brown glossy stem. It has very small buds that alternate up the stem. It also has spines that are up to two centimetres long and they also have a small bud at the same place where the spine leaves the stem. This is older. It has purple buds and they are alternating down the twig so they're not opposite each other but as you can see they alternate. It has male catkins that are long and green and female catkins that are small and look like pine cones.